And if he can barrel it that much, we're going to be dealing with a franchise guy. Hello and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always, literally all the time, have something to say about the Blue Jays. I am your host, Nicholas Playlog. And I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And today, we're going to be having our Player Breakdown series continue. And today, we have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh! And before we get into that, make sure to click that subscribe button and that notifications button if you're watching on YouTube and on other platforms to subscribe. All right, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Nicholas, do you like Vladi? Do I <laughs> like him? Would I, I, let me let me offer this up? You know, would I would I let him sleep with my significant other? Yes, I would. <laughs> no. If I had a significant other, which I don't. <laughs> But well, anyway, well, meeting, the, meeting. The, the thing is, <laughs> I like him. the kid. Yeah, I like the kid, man. Yeah. He, He's got a cute face too. I mean, that, that's not too bad. Hey, I, I, I wouldn't He's, mind adding him to the family. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's be great. Uh, a great addition to yeah. the the paleologues. Yeah, yeah. He's um, got a good smile. Yeah. Anyway, it's enough of our fantasies, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is all like we're gonna talk about this later on yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. But either way. I do like him, and mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you why I mm -hmm. like him. Yeah, why do you like him? I like him because he is supposed to be the one of the best hitting prospects that we have had mm -hmm. in the major leagues for a long freaking mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Like, literally, when this guy came into the league... He was projected, uh, as far as like a hitting prospect goes, better than Bryce Harper. Mm -hmm. Better than Mike Trout. Yeah. His power rating was 80, which is the max. It is the max rating you could give to a prospect, and he was 80. And it's undeniable if you see him uh, play the game. Well, we saw <laughs> the home run derby. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I think the power is undeniable mm -hmm. for this guy. You know, there's just... There's so much potential, and what's mm -hmm. not to love? He's 21 right now. Yeah, yeah. And in 2018, for the like, he hasn't even unlocked his power potential. Yeah. And let's let's talk about his 20 uh, or yeah 2018, 2018 minor, minor league numbers. I'd yeah. love to talk about those first, and then branch into the major. Leagues. Oh yeah, because when he was in the minor leagues, this is when the hype was really built around mm -hmm. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He won Player of the Year for the minor leagues, and he his slash line was 381. Over yeah. 357 at bats. Yeah, he was on base was 437. His slugging was 636, and his OPS was 1.073. He only hit 20 home runs in that time, but again, he's still developing, and his power for 20 home runs for minor league is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. No, that's. I mean, like, I don't think anyone can argue that that is an mm -hmm. elite, elite stat line. Mm-hmm. Um, and now into his 2019 year, yeah. we had big high hopes for this guy. We had ceilings like up at the, around the 330 mark for yeah. average, and you know he did hit his floor. But what yeah. was the, that? The, the floor? The floor was definitely hit. I remember actually before I get into what it was, mm -hmm. I remember reading an article about Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and it was all about predicting his next 10 years. And and you know they basically were putting like for his rookie season. 270 is the floor and sadly he hit the floor we would have liked to see more but 272 which was the exact number is still not horrible he hit 272 that was his average he had an on-base percentage of 339 okay he had a slugging of 433 want to see more but he uh, ran in for 52 runs had 15 home runs and 69 rbis basically it's not bad. It's not for exactly, a twenty-year-old. Exactly. It's not. It's, it's pretty good, actually. That's that is the qualification. You know, it's like it's not bad for a twenty-year-old. It's it's definitely not bad. Like you can't look yeah. at those stats and be like, oh, you know what? Like he's garbage. Mm -hmm. Write it off. He's not. You know, this guy is not going to lead the franchise. No, not mm -hmm. at all. He didn't lead the franchise last year. What do you think? Is is the potential still there for him to lead the franchise this Absolutely. season or the season after that? Absolutely. Or, you the, know? the kid is now 21 years old. This kid's younger than us. 
Okay. Like, wow, that's so scary. <laughs> yeah, this kid's right? younger, younger than us. And, and the average... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I, need, I think I need to touch on that a bit more. What? We are literally, like, drinking wine in our apartment right now. Yeah. And have spent money to talk about someone who is younger than us. Yeah. That is blowing my mind. Continue. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you know, obviously it's like, that's crazy. It is crazy to think uh, that, you know, this professional athlete is literally 21. Yeah. Um, but that's the thing is, you know, the average rookie age is 24. So this kid hasn't even hit the average rookie age. No. And most people don't hit the potential to like 27, 28, 29. Like prime in, time. In the prime time of their major yeah. league careers. And this kid, you know, if you've got to compare him to like Raphael Devers, like he's still got lots of time before he hits his big 300 average year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I believe that uh, Devers came up at around the same time mm-hmm. as Guerrero. Not as much hype around Devers, but mm-hmm. still they were talking about him as being an elite prospect. And obviously, for those of you who have watched baseball and paid attention last year, mm-hmm. he proved last year that he is a he is a very elite hitter and, and should be a hitter that we should all be paying attention to for maybe even the next decade. Yeah. The question is, for me anyways, mm-hmm. I'm looking at these numbers, I'm seeing 272, and I'm thinking, okay, that ain't bad. How do we make it better? Yeah, well, it's if you look at his uh, stat cast numbers and his, uh, you know, everything, whether it be his barrel percentage, his exit velocity, his launch angle. Yeah. Uh, his launch angle is the one I want to really point out as he had a launch angle of 6.3. Now, league yeah. average was 11.6. Right. It's a lot of ground balls being pounded on the ground. Now, his exit velo is about average. Uh, and his barrel percentage is above average. So, and we can't deny that he had, uh, he has incredible power. Like he had the hardest hit ball last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was, and I'm going to point this out, and this this kind of leads into to what we're talking about, about, you know, the fact that we want to get this this up. Like that was a single. The hardest mm-hmm. hit ball in all of the major leagues resulted in a single because it ended up being a ground ball. And his ground ball percentage, I believe I wrote it down here somewhere, but it was something like he was hitting a ground ball 40 or 50% of the time. Mm-hmm. That's well above league average. Like mm-hmm. this guy just kept, and, and he ran into the problem of grounding out a lot of the time because he'd smack it so bloody hard. But, you know, it'd be caught by the infield. Yeah, and I, I think, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of hitters are taught to come down, like, come, come on a down plane towards mm-hmm. the ball, you know, to get that backspin. But what was happening to Vladdy is he was getting just on top of the ball. Topping it too much. Topping it way too much. So now, you know, he, we've heard reports that he's working with the hitting coach and trying to get that swing kind of just getting underneath it just a tad more to lift it up more because his his launch angle is quite low. Yeah. And in order for Vladdy to, get, to maximize his, his potential – He's got to get that ball in the air, and that power will take the ball out of the ballpark. Well, because because here's the thing. We had, <clears throat> basically, when, when we went over this guy's stats, we noticed there was a, a ridiculous trend that basically every single stat, except for launch angle, was about league average. Yeah. So now I want to say, well, if the launch angle was league average, what would that mean for every other stat? Yeah. And I can only imagine that it would make... The batting average go up, the slugging go up, just like every single thing go up because he can hit the ball so hard mm-hmm. and in literally any location on the plate. Like I've seen this guy golf home runs out of the park before. And- I, I've seen this guy literally launch line drive bullets into the seats mm-hmm. uh, for home runs. And we saw that in spring training. And that's what we could probably expect from Vladimir Grow Jr. A standard line drive is a home run. Exactly. And I think, I think basically the main thing for this guy that he needs to improve on is that launch angle, is getting underneath the ball just a little bit more, not topping it so much, and also barreling it a bit more. And, and I understand he was above league average however i'm gonna hold this guy to a higher standard than league average because he was a better you know hitting prospect than bryce harper than mike trout when i was doing my research adam i was looking at a guy who i know that we've talked about we want or we see the potential that vladimir guerrero jr could embody this guy's characteristics and that player is nelson cruz very similar body type very similar like just elite hitter that plays DH, which we assume Vladdy will eventually yeah. move over to. 
But Nelson Cruz, to put this in perspective, Vladimir Guerrero's barrel percentage was 7.7%. The league average was 6% something. Yeah, slight, slightly below. Slightly above the league average. Nelson Cruz, his career average of barrel percentage is 15.5%. That is absolutely messed up. And I believe that it is the same potential that Vladimir Guerrero Jr. has and can accomplish. And if he can barrel it that much, we're going to be dealing with a franchise guy. Yeah, I think that's absolutely his potential. I mean, we need someone like a Nelson Cruz to lead us into the postseason. Mm. Like, we need someone like, if you look back, like an Encarnacion. We need someone who can lock down that first base side, that DH position, give us power, give us even a better average than Encarnacion, yeah. and, and help us drive us into that postseason potential. Well, and, and that's and that's why I always use the example of Cruz, because Cruz gives you that average of roughly 300 while also providing the elite power. And I, and I think that when Vlad came up, we were all predicting a hitter who would be batting in and around that 300 mark with a lot of pop. But we also got to remember... He's, he was 20 years old. 20 and he, years old. And and he even admitted to himself or to the public that he was he felt the you know the the pressure the expectations were he, he was trying to force a Too few much. things Too and much. you and we were watching a game literally mm-hmm. just behind us and he was swinging at pitches in the dirt first pitch like the, yeah the pitchers knew he was anxious to get his to make an impression so they threw him a lot of first pitch curveballs in the ground but that's something that he's actually adjusted to. Mm-hmm. I, I also want to say, because what you were just saying like reminded me of something, and it was, I believe last season he said that he got he got tired out yeah, at yeah. the end of last year. This is a minor thing for me, although I think that, you know, when I watch when I watch sports players, I always expect the best out of them. And recently, um, you know, like we saw Vlad, we had this big break, um, and I want to throw us back to spring training. When we were in spring training in March, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. looked to be in the best shape that I have seen him. Really good stuff. And the way that he was swinging the bat proved that this guy trained in that offseason. When we came back, you know, right now and we're doing these inter-squad games, it's been clear that Vladdy, you know, has put on a couple pounds, which isn't a problem, although there's speculation that that's why he got moved over to first. Yeah. And we all knew it was going to happen eventually. I exactly. Mean, and and I think it was still the right move. Yeah. One thing that I do think, though, for Vladdy to meet his franchise player potential is that I, I want him I want him to show up in the best in the best way possible to help his team. Yeah. Uh, and and you know what? I, I was a little disappointed because you know, it, that's not helping your team by not showing up ready to play third base. And again, it could be a completely different thing. This is all speculation. Um, but I, I, I want to see in the future, uh, you know, him being ready to help the Blue Jays more. This is a minor I, thing. I'm sure he can. I mean, he showed up to spring training so ready to go. Agreed. And, and COVID Agreed. threw a literal curveball for the entire league. And I think this spring training or this whole season is just like get out there, get your reps. I'm sure Agreed. this time, like this time off season, or and, and he's, he's gonna got come back he's got time to get in shape. Again, still 21. minor note, <laughs> still 21 years old. Love his stuff. I want to hear what you think he's gonna do in this 60 game season. All right. 60 game seasons. That's what I got him going. A slash line. It's gonna be 289. Oh. Uh, and he's gonna be on base for a 358. Mm-hmm. His slugging's gonna be 461. In his production numbers, he's gonna have uh, 11 home runs this year. And 24 runs scored and 31 RBIs. And Nick, what about you? Yeah, that's wow. That's interesting. You're like I'm. I'm almost lower than you in all the stat line, but uh, higher than you in the production numbers because I, I have him going at 283 for the average. I think that he's going to get on base 347. That's mm. his percentage right there. And I think his slugging is going to be 462. But I do believe that he will be running in for 27 runs. He will be, and I agree with you on this one, batting. 11 homers very nice that's that was what i had on pace for him for going for 20 29 home runs which i think he would have done over a full season but 11 homers and he will be batting in 33 rb eyes 33 okay. ribbies pretty similar pretty similar pretty I similar I would <laughs> say. Pretty, pretty similar. I, and and honestly dude like i i feel like this is a very 
these statistics are a very realistic like we've done all our homework we've done all our research statistics and i'm so happy that we've done that but from a fan perspective from a blue oh. jays fan perspective would i want this guy would i want the best hitting prospect in 10 20 30 years to come out and smack 300 and just absolutely wow us yes i would yeah yeah, of course I'd want him to hit like twenty home runs this season. <laughs> oh man, that would be unreal. I Dude, mean, could could you we've imagine seen it in the past? We've seen it in the past. Well, like, could you imagine we like, man? I kind of want to, I kind of want to make a bet on, <laughs> on Vladdy. I know you've been saying you want to make a couple. Yeah, bets. yeah, okay. <laughs> I've I've been talking about how I want to make a couple like baseball bets and whatever, but it's like we should we should bet on Vladdy. Like, wh- what is the over under right now? It's I like, have no idea. I have no, I have I have no idea either. But like, uh, we'll we'll make a bet and we'll come back to you guys. Yeah, like let's <laughs> let's bet the over. Let's bet the yeah, over. We'll bet the over. Whatever the fans. over is, we're gonna bet the over on. Yeah, home yeah. Runs. I think he's gonna do better than. I want him to do better than yeah, 11. better than eleven. Absolutely. Better than eleven. You know, what I mean? if the if the over under is like twelve, let's just bet the over. Yeah, let's just bet the over. I yeah. Agree. So what do you guys think? How many home runs do you think Vladdy's going to hit this season? Let us know in the comments down below. And you can follow us on our YouTube, Instagram. Check out our podcast out on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Breaker, and Radio Public. You see, nice. Radio nice. Public. You I remember, remember it this. <laughs> time <laughs> and thanks so much for watching and go vladdy go but i mean by that go jays go mm-hmm.